Hi everyone. Today I'm working on a Hyundai Ionic, the hybrid model, and we did a service on it. And now, because we swapped the front tires with the rear tires, we need to recode the TPMS um, valves in the proper order of the car. Otherwise, you're gonna have a wrong display on the dash while driving so you might get an alert near side front has a uh, low pressure but instead it's gonna be another wheel so we don't want that so to do this we're gonna use the today gonna use the launch x431 so we're gonna go we're gonna start the program now we're gonna go to Asian go to Hyundai press OK We got a 16 pin DLC. We're gonna do a manually select. It's a general, goes all the way down to Ionic, the hybrid electric vehicle, 2018 in my case, 1.6 engine. Um, we've got two choices here. We can either uh, click the special function and it's gonna give us all the, spectrum, all the special function available in this vehicle or you can go in a system selection and select uh, specifically that one. So we're gonna go into system selection, we're gonna go to BCM and from there we're gonna go to integrate the body control unit TPMS. And then we got special function here. And all you need to do is just press this here, wheel sensor ID writing. So this procedure is valid only if you swap tires, uh, wheels or tire whatever in this vehicle. It, it is not uh, good if you wanna put an aftermarket sensor on the car because it needs to be written a different way. But this is specifically for swapping tires or putting a new genuine sensor in the car. So I already printed this paper, this code here. You can have it in here. It'll be easy for me. So what we will do, we're gonna erase all of them and uh, we're gonna rewrite in the proper order. So front left, we swapped it with the rear left and front right with the rear right. So we're gonna start with front left and we're gonna input the rear left because we saw them front with rears on the left side. So rear left. Alright, so this is our rear left, nine one one two two C two. C, D, should be eight characters. Okay, then we're gonna, we're gonna go to our rear left, uh, front, yeah, rear left, let's keep it in pairs. So that's gonna be rear left is C4. I'm gonna input nine, one, one, two, C five seven seven. Okay, then we're going to the front right, which is like you see there is C two, and we're going to input the rear right ID. There we go. That's okay. Then we're going to the rear right which is going to be C3 and I'm going to input the front right ID 9112 C842 and press OK and after you enter the values just click save and that's about it
very simple. The next test we're going to do now is going to be a row test and you're going to make sure that all the tire pressure monitor is going to be displayed on the screen on all four wheels. Okay, as you can see, uh, we need to drive the vehicle now in order to uh, TPMS sensor to send the values to the TPMS ECU. So we need to drive about no more than a mile, should be enough. And we should have readings displayed. took me about maybe I don't know 500 meters and as you can see you read all the tire pressure so that's a very good sign which means we have put the right sensor ID in the car and they're all working fine sometimes you may find that the only reason is more driving so in that case I'm suggesting to put more air inside the tires about let's say 2, 3, 4 PSI or 0.2.5 of a bar and then rotate it and it's going to reset itself and go from there. Right, so this is how you do it. Thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video.